there's a song, as a matter of fact, called Keep Playing That Rock and Roll that seems to explain pretty well how Edgar got involved in the business. Don't you know that I was sitting back in that bed? So I packed up and I made it up to New York <laughs> When I found I was a brain dance star He was doing funky music Don't you know that I've been doing lots of things, yeah? Woo! I've been trying hard to figure it out. But there's a certain kind of music, woo-hoo! Got to make you jump and shout, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can call it commercial if you want to see it that way, yeah. But play it back in my mind. You know I could hear the people say, keep playing that rock and roll. Hi, Edgar. Hi, Rick. I think everybody would probably be interested in knowing how that song came about. Well, it's my true life story, in a sense. It, it tells how I came from Texas to New York, and uh, also how I came from music into the music business. It is uh, sort of a satire, but yeah. it's all true. Well, you've been on the road for about two and a half years now. Does it seem to be getting any better? Uh, I'm enjoying it more, you know, but uh, if you keep your energy up yeah. and uh, take care of yourself... You've got to take uh, care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, if, if you don't, uh, you'll find yourself sort of crazy. The, the thing about the road is uh, it's, it's difficult to write, which is one of the things that seems to always bother me because I'm really interested in writing. Yeah, there never almost seems to be enough primarily. time. Yeah, plus that just the whole effect of the road changes your ideas and your attitudes, the way you relate to things and what actually you would write. Say, Keep Playing That Rock and Roll, for example, is more uh, typical of a song that you would write on the road. Yeah.